great selection of recipes for you to try at home this evening. Whether you want to spend five minutes in the kitchen or an hour, we have something to suit everyone's schedule. Tonight, Scott will show us his recipes for mini steak sammies, wontons and homemade tagatelli pasta. <music> Hi, and welcome back to the Lifestyle Kitchen. Continuing with our sort of theme of gearing up for summer, I'm looking at doing a little miniature steak sandwich or a, a smaller version of a steak sandwich. So we're gonna be using some bruschetta, um, some fillet steak, mushrooms, a nice tomato relish, and finishing up with some locally grown um, rocket. So I've already got my pans on heating up because I need to um, cook some mushrooms. So I've got some butter and a wee bit of oil in one pan which I'm going to cook my mushrooms in. And I've got another fry pan on with some oil heating up ready to cook the steak. So first off is the bruschetta. This is a, a it's been out around a wee while. This is a, an Italian product, it's actually from Italy. Um, but you can get it at a local supermarket, it is bruschetta. And it's all ready to go. It's been sliced, ready for you to deal with. So what I'm doing with this um, bruschetta today is we're going to just put it on to an oven tray and what I want to do is basically just um, reheat that up in the, in the oven. So we'll pop that in the oven. My butter and oil is going strong so I'm just going to slice my um, basically my portobello mushrooms. You could use any, any mushroom but I think these ones go nice with the steak that we're doing. So in they go. Of course they need a wee bit of seasoning. Some salt and some pepper. And we'll just let them cook down in that butter. We don't want them too far reduced down, we just want to soften them up a wee bit and get a bit of um, heat into them. Right, the steak that I'm using today is fillet steak. Um, you could use um, a porterhouse or sirloin style or a ribeye, um, but basically I've got two pieces there. I've got my pan nice and hot. And we just want to get these seared. And again, I'll just put a little touch of sea salt on those. So just turn those mushrooms over as they're cooking. Now I'm just gonna turn those mushrooms off, that's all they need. Quite happy with where they're at. Um, I've said on the recipe to use any of your favourite tomato relish. So you may make a homemade relish. Um, I actually particularly like just the cerebrus one. I find it's great with this. It's also great to use with ploughman's lunches with fresh bread and cheeses. Um, so quite a nice um, product. Well, right, we'll have a look at our steaks. Turn those over. So that bruschetta is just heated up nicely. So it's just basically warming that, that bread through. And now we want to put some of our tomato relish on the bread. You can be as liberal or as least, depending on how you like it. transfer these on to my presentation plate so I can finish them off so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. So I'm using some wonderful rocket from the Culinary Herb Company out at Edendale. So this is going to add of course some wonderful colour but also that pepperiness that comes through with, with rocket. 
It's also going to balance our dish out, give it some a vegetable component or a green um, component. So again, you can be as liberal as you like with the rocket. So if you're looking for the Culinary Herb Company, it's Rocket. A uh, good place for that would be Plaza Super Value. I'm just going to turn those steaks off, let them basically rest onto our mushrooms. So just place some of those mushrooms on top and the heat of these will actually wilt down the rocket as well. And start to slowly cook that. Now what I've also prepared earlier and I've got here in the little deep fryer is some crumbed onion rings. So all that is is onions sliced into rings and then I break them into their individual rings, put them through some seasoned flour, through some um, milk and eggs and then into some breadcrumbs. And then we're just going to finish those off in the deep fryer and crisp them up. Right, over to our steaks. Just want those onion rings just to, to go nice and golden. So if you don't have a deep fryer at home, even one of the sort of the household ones, um, a wee bit of oil in a pot, uh, 180 degrees, and pop your onion rings into that. Let those drain. So with our steak, I'm just going to slice this on the angle. So we've still kept it nice and, and medium rare. And then we can place pieces of that on top of each one of our bruschetta. And then the last thing we do is finish it with a few of the onion rings just on top to add some texture and it also adds a wee bit of height. So there we go, they are our little mini steak sandwiches, bruschetta, tomato relish, mushrooms, finished with those crumbed onions. So a great substantial type appetizer or again little substantial um, snack when people are coming around for drinks. <laughs>